model HTT, time and triggers. So this is the pacemaker of our system. We have five gate outputs and we have one CV output. We also have four CV inputs that can control either the speed or the pulse length or the phase offset of the different triggers. Trigger can be a short pulse or it can be a long one. It can be a clock or something like a Euclidean sequence that we have here. A fast one can be used, for example, to sync this filter. And the CV out can be used for ratcheting effects. The shorting bars can be connected wherever there is a dotted line. That allows us to combine short pulses and long pulses. In the menu structure, you have the possibility to dial in a lot of different modes. Multipliers, dividers, Turing machines, random triggers, Euclidean sequences, and so on. With the shorting bars and with the generators, there's almost endless combinations. Polyphonic rhythms, everything is possible. Another function is to self-sequence the module. The internal clock can be used to generate a pattern and the trigger output and input combination can be used to further animate that. So in this case, I'm feeding trigger 1 with the output of the Euclidean sequence and that one is being multiplied down there into a different rhythm. The buttons on the front side alternate between the playback menu, where you can adjust speed, or the primary menu, where you're able to dial in variations and options, and the secondary menu, which is the setup for pulse width, length, clock, source, latencies, and a lot of other options. And of course, a module that complex to set up needs a saving and loading function. So by holding the right encoder, we're getting into a four slot save and load menu. Holding it again, saves the preset and you're back in playback. And that's it, time and triggers, make some beats. <laughs>